Hello, in this dot programming video, I am going to show you how to get console input using the input output library. First of all, you need to actually import the library by doing import and you put the keyword dot colon io and a semicolon at the end. You might notice I am not on the online editor just because you can't actually do this input output library. I mean, you can't actually get the console input from the editor so you need a proper ide like intellij or webstorm or something along the line of visual studio those will allow you to do it once you've got it all set up if you need any help regarding that feel free to let me know so now to to do it if we just create a variable called string and say str do equals std in which is the standard input library dot read line sync and put a semicolon and if we just do print print str and afterwards I'm gonna print one more line saying end of application if I run this it, as you can see nothing's run but it has it's actually just waiting for console input so if I put in hello as you can see it got the input put it into this variable and now it's printed out via the print command that's how you get console input there's nothing you know more to it than that what you do with it whether it's a number and manipulating mathematically or whether it's a string maybe you're getting a username or a password and you verify it against the database is totally up to you if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.